Guys, I want to get right into this one. Today, we're talking about Anycubic PLA filament. I want to give my honest review on Anycubic because I've been printing this stuff like crazy. As someone who loves experimenting with different 3D printing materials, I've had the pleasure of using Anycubic PLA filament for a variety of projects lately, and it has consistently delivered solid performance. Here's my take on why this filament stands out. One of the first things I notice about any cubic PLA is how user friendly it is. From the get go, the filament feeds smoothly and evenly into the extruder, which makes setting it up a breeze. I don't think it matters what level you're at. I had no issues of getting it to work perfectly with any of my printers. Print quality with any cubic PLA has been reliable. The filament lays down beautifully, creating prints with a smooth finish and great detail. I've printed everything from simple prototypes to more intricate models, and the results have consistently been impressive. The filament's ability to produce clean, sharp edges and smooth surfaces really brings my designs to life. That adhesion is usually a make or break factor for me, and any cubic PLA doesn't disappoint. The bed adhesion is great. The filament adheres well to both heated and non-heated beds. I typically print on a glass bed. Well, I should, I got all different kinds of beds. The adhesion has been perfect with no warping or shifting during prints. This has been especially beneficial for larger prints that need a bit of extra stability. One of my favorite projects using Anycubic PLA was a set modular desk organizer. And I did this in a couple different color filaments. The color was consistent throughout the spool and the prints came out vibrant and smooth. The filament extruded without any hitches and I didn't experience any clogs or jams, which can be a real mood killer during a long print session. What really sets any cubic PLA apart, in my opinion, is its versatility. It handles a range of print settings well, making it easy to tweak parameters and get good results. I've experimented with different temperatures and speeds, and the filament has remained consistent in performance, giving me the flexibility to try out various print profiles. Durability is another strong suit of this filament. The prints are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also quite robust and tough. I've made several functional parts that have withstood everyday use without any issues. This durability makes it a great choice for both decorative and practical prints. Price-wise, any cubic PLA filament offers excellent value. It's competitively priced, which means it can stock up without worrying about the cost. And trust me, I've bought a lot of this filament. This is a huge plus for someone like me who prints regularly and likes to keep a variety of colors and materials on hand. In conclusion, I'm super happy with any cubic PLA filament. And I will say I've only printed the PLA stuff for now. If you guys are looking for other awesome filaments, I'll throw links to any cubic stuff in the description and also four others of my favorite brands. You can find all that in the description or comments. Hit me up if you guys have any questions in the comments. I'm a normal dude. And consider subscribing to the channel. The print has finally finished, and I gotta say, it looks pretty dang good. Let's take it off the plate here. All right, man, this thing's cool, right guys? Look at this thing. Let's go test it out. This thing is beastly. All right, which sword do you want? Um, Big one or small one? Small. Small one? All right, let's battle. Oh no, it broke. We'll put it back together. <laughs> How did that break? You win.